Maybe it's just me, but I don't get why Formula One aren't making more of what's going on at the moment with this amazing SpaceX mission to the International Space Station for two reasons. One, because Doug Hurley, one of the astronauts, was at the US Grand Prix last year, obviously loving Formula One, obviously very, very relaxed in the Formula One paddock and embracing all the technology. What a great guy. What a potentially brilliant spokesman for Formula One in terms of Formula One being the ultimate. But even more significantly, because of the role played by Dan Gurney's All-American Racers in the design and construction of the landing gear of the Falcon 9 first stage. Within a few minutes of the launch yesterday, there we saw the amazing first stage landing on the drone ship. Perfect landing. Just one of the most amazing engineering feats I think we're ever going to see. And that landing gear, an absolutely primary part of all that creativity. And all of it made because of the heritage of Dan Gurney and everything he did in his motor racing career. A lot of it, of course, focused around Formula One. He loved and embraced Formula One technology. He was a huge Adrian Newey fan in his later days. Dan, who was an archetypical driver engineer in the mold of Jack Brabham and Bruce McLaren, started All-American Races, Eagle, in about 1965, I think it was, in Santa Ana, California, in that amazing aerospace belt he was always a fan of aviation. He knew many of the great test pilots from that era. Indeed, he remained a very good friend of Chuck Yeager until the day Dan passed away. And the design and brilliant engineering that went into the creation of the landing gear for the Falcon 9 was born of All-American Races and Eagle in exactly the same place where it started in 1965. So I think this is a real technology story that Formula One should embrace because we talk a lot about it being the pinnacle of engineering. Of course, when we say that, we're referring to automotive engineering. And of course, we talk a lot about how important it is for Formula One to be seen at the cutting edge of sustainable engineering. Well, what can be more sustainable than the landing gear on the first stage of a reusable rocket like Falcon 9. This is absolutely brilliant stuff. And I find it extraordinary that the powers that be of Formula One are making nothing of this. Of course, one of the reasons for that is that NASA seem to be playing down the roles of some of the suppliers. And if you talk to the Gurney All-American Racers people, which in this case now are led by Justin Gurney, Dan's son, about the landing gear, they say, oh, we can't say too much about it. It's all pretty hush-hush. But Road and Track on their website ran a story at least two years ago about Gurney and AAR building the landing gear for Falcon 9. The question is why Formula One are not doing more about that. If McLaren or Williams or Ferrari or Mercedes had built this landing gear, you could be sure they'd be all over it. But this is no different. This is Dan Gurney. This is Eagle. This is part of Formula One's technical heritage. And without Dan and without everything he stood for and without Dan's belief that the only thing that really mattered was tomorrow and designing the next big thing was what his life was all about, as we saw with the alligator bikes right to the end of his career. Because of that, we have this amazing landing gear on Falcon 9. So if nobody else is going to say it within the Formula One community, I say congratulations to the Gurney family, to all American racers, and particularly to Dan Gurney. You would be loving this, Dan, and you should be very proud of what you achieved.